Hey everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. I'm Kevin D, of course, and today I'm gonna bring you to my little solar home setup, my little project that I have out here in my tool shed. Uh, I just wanted this just to power my ceiling fan, my light when I walk in here, and to be able to uh, recharge my power tools. Just put them on there and let them charge up overnight or whatever. So I have, right now, it's all lithium time, li time, li time, whatever you want to call it. And here's my solar coming in. I gotta dress all this up, but I still gotta put the plywood up here and still gotta insulate some of the part of the wall. But here's where they're coming in at. Here's my first 30 amp breaker. It's going into my 30 amp um, MPPT solar charge controller. Uh, currently the battery's at 13.1 volts. I don't think I'm bringing much, uh, yeah, I'm bringing in 19 volts of solar right now, 18 volts, 17. Shoot, sun's starting to go down outside. Not much solar at all. But anyways, here's my shunt. Well, not the shunt, but the uh, battery monitor. Here's the shunt for it. I got the 1,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Here's what I'm pulling in on the side there. Hopefully you can see it. Here's my lie time battery. So yeah, it comes in, 30 amp breaker, goes into the charge controller, comes out through a 30 amp breaker right here. Wire comes down, goes into the battery, comes out through this 30 amp breaker, goes into my power inverter right here. The negative from the charge controller is running to this side of the shunt, the P minus. And then it comes out on the B minus into the battery. And then the inverter is also charged, is also connected right here on the P minus side. For the power, it's this little red wire right here. And it runs up to here and it's a little B plus right there in the middle. It's green. Uh, it comes with a little screwdriver when you order the kit. I think I showed that in my unboxing video. But then this uh, shield cable, shielded cable right here. It gets plugged in and it runs up to your battery monitor and that's what my battery monitor is showing right now <clears throat> but yeah it's running my solar ceiling fan uh, don't mind all the wiring mess because I gotta insulate all this stuff up here still so this is all temporary I gotta get it done this spring uh, but yeah but hey guys if I can do this anybody can do this don't be scared to mess with this solar stuff there's so much information out there on the web. I, I Googled everything. I YouTubed everything. I asked guys on the internet how they did theirs and everything. And I just followed what they did. And then uh, Lee Time came out. Oh, Lie Time. I can never get them right. And I seen that the price was in my price range. And for what I just wanted to mess around with it. See if I can get it to work. See what I can do with it. And power a few things in my shed. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So if I can do this, trust me when I say this, anybody can do this. When I started off doing this, I didn't even own a, uh, a meter, a power meter right here, a digital meter. I didn't even own one. I went had to go to the store and get that. My brother, who's a maintenance technician, has been his whole life. He's the one that walked me through half this stuff. Um, tell me what amps were, what watts were, uh, how to read my multimeter how to set it on certain settings so I can make sure that my wires are connected properly. There's all kinds of things I've learned in doing this setup. So I know as a novice, I'm, I don't even consider myself a novice. I'm one step below a novice. If I can do this, you can do this. And I highly, highly, highly recommend getting this book right here, uh, Mobile Solar Power Made Easy by uh, William prowls the fourth he is all over youtube on solar stuff that book helped me out a lot it helped me understand what pol a parallel versus series is uh, i still got to do some work on my solar panels up here on the top of the shed i gotta get them positioned properly because right now they're not positioned properly and i'm not catching the best solar so i think the peak of today i had like 30 volts coming in but right now i only have uh one solar panel hooked up and it's 100 watts and I have three more up there, so I have a total of 400 watts in solar panels, 100 watts each. And I got to get all of them hooked up into parallel so I can get some more voltage down here to the battery and keep the battery topped off. I'm not out here all the time. I only come out here to do little projects. And in the spring, summer, and fall, I'm always out fishing, 
or just in the woods camping or doing something like that. So the shed doesn't get a lot of use, but when I need it, I need it. And I was cheap and I refused to pay for a permit to have electricity ran from my house to my shed. I refused to do it. That just seemed stupid to me. Why would I, why should I have to pay for something like that when I own the house, I own the land, and I own the shed? Why do I have to pay a uh, permit, pay somebody a, a permit fee to run electricity? That makes absolutely no sense to me. So I ran it this way. I'm legal doing it this way. No one can say anything to me. And I'm happy to go. And in the summer, if I need to run my air conditioner, once I get this insulated, I do have an air conditioner over here. It's in the window. It's a little window um, air conditioner. I have a 15 amp breaker GFCI plug out here. I have a heavy duty extension cord. And if I need to work out here in the summer, I'll just plug that in. No big deal. But I have to get this ins shed insulated first. Uh, I bought this shed from the Amish. Pretty impressed with it so far. They did exactly what I asked them to do. And, uh, Maybe when I get this shed insulated, I'll bring you guys along on a tour because I, I have stuff everywhere in here. I have tools hanging up in odd places. I got my um, four wheelers in here. I just got stuff all over the place. But yeah, if you want to continue on with my journey, um, please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know I'm a retired master sergeant from the United States Army. And I'm just doing this for fun, guys. This is something to keep me entertained when I'm at home, not doing much. Uh, it's better than sitting around watching TV all day, picking my nose, not doing anything. And everybody can say when you retire, you can do all these fun projects, do everything like that. But you do, you do find yourself getting bored every so often. So this is my, uh, just something to keep me busy. So once again, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and come back for more content later on. I can't promise I'll post a video once a week or even once a month, but I'll put them out there whenever I do. Until then, God bless. You guys all take care.